This morning in The Modern Parent, we are talking New Year's Eve activities, not just for you, but for the whole family. Here with some great craft ideas and activities is Tracy Martin Turgeon with the Children's Workshop. Hello. Hi, Bill. How are you? Good to you. I, we were talking a little while ago. Neither one of us are big fans of New Year's. I'm not. It, it, it's a lot going on. It's expensive. There's yeah. a lot to go out, especially if you have little ones at home. you got to get babysitters. Right. So you want to try to make New Year's something like a family And thing. bring everybody together. Bring everybody together. And you've got some great ideas. Yeah, there are some good ideas that you can do. You can do like a countdown clock. You can either do a clock and make it out of paper and do the countdown where the children can make that and mm -hmm. be participating in that. But sometimes children won't stay up to the late. So you can also make a graph of New Year's resolutions. So like a week before New Year's, start writing down some stuff of what you want to do. What you want, what's your New Year's resolution? Right. Put it in there. And then graph it up and do that throughout the year. Okay. There are a lot of different things that you can do with children. You want to read to them. Maybe bake cookies on New Year's. Um, New Year's Eve. I can tell you, it sounds like a nice New Year's Eve to me. <laughs> <laughs> but get your children involved in cooking too. So you can cook a really nice dinner, teach your children the ropes of cooking, making cookies, and sitting down, or maybe going out to some places have some fireworks or like some fun things for the children to do. Sure. But it doesn't have to be outside. You want to also set really um, resolutions that are realistic for your children and for yourself. Everybody gets on the bandwagon that I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to do this. Set resolutions that are easy to keep that you and your child can keep or you and the family can keep. Right. This way you're setting your both up for success. We're gonna walk three times a week. Yeah. We're gonna I'm gonna be your son might say I'm gonna be nice to my sister this week. Um, <laughs> Good so, luck with that. <laughs> I know. So there might be some things that they that they can achieve. Um, I'm gonna read or you're gonna get a, a novel that you're gonna show your children how to read and maybe mm -hmm. you read a chapter each week to them. Right. So set some New Year's resolutions that you both can keep, that your children can keep, and then reflect on them next year, the end of the year. And to see how you did. And it, it, whether you didn't complete them fully, really doesn't matter. It's just an activity to, just to kind of set, set some goals. Is it? Set some goals and reflect on them. Do we achieve this? If we didn't, were they too hard? Right. Um, did something happen? And how can we achieve them this year? Right. It's a great way to put everybody on the good track, to keep them going, and keep the momentum going, and something that all of you can achieve, and you don't feel disappointed that you didn't. And it. it really is just about spending time with each other. You probably, the kids will remember more about that than they will anything else. Absolutely. When I was a kid, my parents spent a lot of time with us when we were growing up. And right. that that's different holidays. That's where you want to build. You want yeah. to build those foundations. So when your children get older and they have their own families, those are traditions that you make that they pass on right. or you pass on. So it's a great way to start if you don't have a tradition and think of something really easy that you can do to start with your family. Well, these are all good things. And it'll be your birthday also. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, it will. All right. Thanks so much for, for coming in. Happy New Year to everybody. And if